Like every iconic monument in the world, the seven wonders of the world are believed to be architectural marvels that have some myths and secrets hidden in their history. The existence of these monuments serves as evidence of people's limitless and occasionally questionable creativity and intelligence. Each civilization wanted to leave its mark on the world and serve as a reminder that it had existed across multiple generations and geographical locations. In contrast to our modern-day equipment and technologies, building such massive structures during that period created some fascinating stories for us, which we will discuss in today's video. To start off, did you know that the seven wonders we recognize today weren't always the same? The pyramids of Giza in Egypt were the only ones of the original seven wonders remaining surviving in 2000. This prompted a Swiss charity to start a campaign to determine the new seven wonders of the world. The initial list of the seven wonders was compiled in the 2nd century BCE. Over 100 million people participated in the Foundation's seven-year poll, which was conducted online or by text message. The Great Pyramid of Giza, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, the Statue of Zeus, the Temple of Artemis, the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, the Colossus of Rhodes, and the Pharos, or Lighthouse of Alexandria, were the original seven wonders of the world. At the same time, the Great Wall of China, Chichen Itza, the ancient city of Petra, Machu Picchu, Christ the Redeemer, Colosseum, and Taj Mahal are today's seven wonders in their place. With this, let's now directly get to the most awaited part, the myths behind these monuments. Starting with the Great Wall of China, which is more than 21,000 kilometers long, many peasants, prisoners, and army soldiers are said to have been forced into building this wall. It took about 20 years to complete the initial wall during the reign of Emperor Qin Shi Huang of the Wen Dynasty. Along the way, nature presented numerous obstacles like mountains, plateaus, and other barriers. Over a million people died while constructing this particular site of the Seven Wonders of the World. Archaeologists have discovered human remains beneath portions of the wall. So overcoming these difficulties and maintaining such a massive wall also came with losses. This tragedy made the Great Wall of China the longest cemetery on Earth. Just one question. Why do we visit this place again? Next, we have Chichen Itza, which is believed to be the largest Mayan city that has ever been constructed. Its name translates to the Mouth of the Wall of Itza. It is located in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. It flourished in the 9th and 10th century CE. The fact that this location echoes strange noises may have contributed to tourists and archaeologists choosing it as one of the seven wonders of the world. It is stated that clapping creates nine echoes in the center of the court if you do it from one end of the ball court. A clap in front of the Kolkolkan Pyramid in the city center produces an echo that sounds like the serpent's chirp. Crazy, right? Now, we'll take a look at Petra, which is known as Rose City. It is one of the Middle East's fascinating architectural marvels in proof that this region was truly rising during the Middle Ages. The historic Jordanian city of Petra is tucked away in a lonely valley between cliffs and mountains made of pink sandstone. It was said to be one of the locations where Moses supposedly struck a rock and water sprang out of it. It later became the capital of the Nabataeans, an Arab tribe, and during this period it flourished and developed into a significant trading hub, particularly for spices. The Nabataeans were skilled carvers who carved homes, temples, and tombs into the sandstone, which changed the hue with the waning light. They also built a water system that made it possible to cultivate and have lush gardens. Petra reportedly housed 30,000 people at its peak. However, when trade routes changed, the city started to deteriorate. More difficulties were brought on by a significant earthquake in 363 CE, and Petra was progressively abandoned until another earthquake struck in 551. Even though it was rediscovered in 1912, until the last decades of the 20th century, archaeologists mostly neglected the city, leaving many unanswered problems. Furthermore, some of the carvings on the treasury's walls were ruined by Bedouins from the Arabian Desert centuries earlier. And the even more horrible fact is that they used them as targets for shooting drills. Well, this one definitely hit the spot for us. Next on the list is Machu Picchu, which was built in 1450 and left abandoned for a century. It is one of the most well-known lost cities in the world, 
and is also referred to as the Lost City of the Incas. A few hundred years later, in 1983, UNESCO recognized it as a World Heritage Site since it met the requirements. It is said that no wheels were utilized to transport the more than 50 pound stones necessary to construct one of the seven wonders of the world up the mountain. It's thought that hundreds of men worked together to push them. And here we try to coordinate with a group of people and still manage to fail at it successfully. Next is Rio de Janeiro's Mount Corcovado, which is home to the enormous statue of Jesus known as Christ the Redeemer. Its beginning can be traced back to the immediate aftermath of World War I, when some Brazilians feared a tide of godlessness. They suggested a statue, which Heitor de Silva Costa, Carlos Oswald, and Paul Landowski ultimately designed. The building process started in 1926 and was finished in 1927. Without its base, which is around 26 feet high, the monument's height is 98 feet, and its outstretched arms are 92 feet long. The statue was initially constructed in France before being transported to Brazil. It is the world's largest Art Deco sculpture. About 6 million tiles cover the reinforced concrete structure of Christ the Redeemer. Weirdly, lightning has frequently struck the statue, and in 2014, a storm injured the tip of Jesus' right thumb. Was that a sign for something? Let's now shift our focus to the Colosseum whose architectural magnificence can never be disputed by anyone. Yet, some ugliness is hidden beneath this beauty. It is regarded as the most recognizable ancient amphitheater, whose dimensions are 620 by 513 feet, and it has a sophisticated vaulting system. It indeed is an engineering marvel. Vespasian, the Roman emperor, gave the order to construct this beauty in the first century between 70 and 82 A.D., it has more than 50,000 seats. For its use, the gladiator fights were perhaps the most famous. However, men fighting animals was also widespread. The Colosseum occasionally had water pumped into it for fictitious naval battles. There is also a myth claiming that there were martyred Christians who were thrown to lions. An estimated 500,000 people died in the Colosseum, according to some estimations. Furthermore, so many animals were slaughtered there after being captured that certain species allegedly went extinct. Scary, right? Lastly, did you know that the Taj Mahal was constructed by Shah Jahan in memory of his late wife Mumtaz, also known as Chosen One of the Palace, who passed away in 1631 while giving birth to their 14th child? It's obvious to feel that the moment is a true and magnificent expression of love. However, one of the well-known myths surrounding the stunning architectural structure that was unquestionably selected as one of the seven wonders of the world is that the romantic emperor amputated the hands of every worker who helped construct the Taj Mahal to prevent them from ever again creating anything this beautiful. Another myth suggests that Shah Jahan also desired to build a black Taj in the Yamuna Basin. He wanted this structure to resemble the Taj Mahal in every way except for the fact that it would be made of charcoal black marble as opposed to white. Unfortunately, his son Aurangzeb killed him before his intentions could materialize. This shows that everything that happens is for the best, because the Taj Mahal would obviously not have been one of the seven wonders of the world if there were two Taj Mahals. With this, it's time for you to tell us which story stunned you the most, given the gruesome and scary myths associated with these monuments. Are you now even more eager to visit them, or are you more frightened? Let us know your answers in the comment box below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, do smash the like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time around. Until then, stay mythically mad.